Hey guys, so I'm late. Is this party still happening or what? For me, it's always been playing from your heart. I grew up in a very small town, so there wasn't, you know, there wasn't big clubs, there wasn't anything else to go to, so. You know, I just went and bought records and then mixed them together how I thought it made sense, not watching someone and then copying them. For me, it was just about gaining my own style and my own way of mixing them. That's not to say if you're starting now, you shouldn't find someone that you like and then take inspiration from that. But I think you should always, you know, play music that you like, you know, if it moves you, not just think, oh, well, I want to be a DJ because I want to be successful, I want to fly around in a jet or drink champagne, you know, that's, that's not the right reason for being a DJ. It should be a passion for music, first of all, and wanting to share that passion with other people. when it was just two vinyls, uh, players and a mixer. It was a level playing field. You, you could either mix two records or you couldn't. I think the technology now is taking away some of that tightrope walking of like, well, is this mix going to stay in, isn't it, and stuff like that. But, you know, I don't mind. You know, for me, that allows you to do more things. The technology that's out there now, 10 years ago, you'd have loved to have it. You wouldn't have gone, you shouldn't be using this because it's not right. I've got my record collection, so that'll never leave me because it's made me who I am. But I also love the fact that when I'm on the road, I can be updating my set, and each night I can play something different if I wanted to. There's that much music out there, and, and I think that's the fun thing about it. If you got that amount of enjoyment from music, it will show when you play it, because you've got that record, you're like, I can't wait to play this record. But you choose the right time to play it, and it has the maximum effect. And that's the key, I think, to a good DJ, not someone that will just play the top 10 Beatport records one after the other and put his hands in the air. You know, you're not wearing the crowd out with just anthem after anthem. You're, you're building up to moments, work the crowd a little bit. You know, it's, not, it's not all about bashing them over the head. So, which I'm about to do in about five minutes now. <laughs> <laughs>